So, you want to flirt with women and you are struggling and you are basically a beginner. This video is for you. So, one of the principles of flirting with women is that you must develop an abundance mentality. Now, what do I mean by, by an abundance mentality? An abundance mentality is just is a mental state in which you, you believe that, you know, I don't really need these girls much. I can do without them. I don't really care if I get them or not. Just that mentality which keeps you in a state of confidence, in a state of indifference, whether you get a girl or not, it doesn't really bother you. Because there are some men who, if a girl rejects them, it messes with their mental health. They could easily become depressed simply because a girl rejected them or, you know, did not want their flirting. Now, if you develop this abundance mentality, it makes you more confident. And women love that confidence that comes with having an abundance mentality. And once you develop this mentality, you begin to assume this masculine image in you, which is necessary to successfully flirt with women. Because while flirting with women, women feed off your masculine energy and you feed off their feminine energy. So therefore, if you don't have that masculine energy, it becomes a problem. It becomes a problem because women will not see you as someone who they should even allow to flirt with them. As a guy who plans to be flirting with women, one basic and important advice I will give to you is you must groom yourself properly. You simply have to groom yourself properly. You can't go to flirt with women looking hard at. Like if you are flirting with if you are flirting with women over text, that's a whole different thing. But if you want to flirt with women in person, you have to groom yourself to be more to look attractive, to look enticing. To look enticing. Because the truth is, before a woman will even like find you reasonable enough to give you her time in person, you must look good to her. You must look good. Just like before you walk up to a woman to flirt with her or to take her number, she looks enticing to you because she groomed herself properly. Now, you can't be going around trying to meet women where you've not groomed yourself well. Take me for example. I, I go to the gym. I work out. I keep myself in shape. I groom my hair. I groom my beard. You know, you just you basically have to look good. You smell nice. You wear nice fitted clothes. That's basically what I mean by grooming yourself. Because that makes flirting with women easier. You can't try to flirt with a, a woman when you are smelling. How will she even stay there with you when you are trying to flirt with her? She will run from you because you've not done your homework, which is to groom yourself first before you want before you try to flirt with women. Because the first thing women notice in a man is their physical looks. So you have to work on it. The next thing that you have to do when trying to flirt with a woman is that you have to have a masculine body language. What do I mean by a masculine body language? It basically means a body language which shows you are dominant, which shows you are the man. And women love a man who has a dominant body language because it keeps them, it, it makes them instantly go to their feminine states. It makes them more feminine. Now, how do you express this dominance or masculine body language when flirting with women? One, eye contact. You have to be looking a woman into the eye. Not like weird eye contact like this. No, you have to be like looking at her sensually, sensually in the eye. You know that lazy, sexy, dreamy, romantic eye contact. And you look at her deep in the eye. It will make her to bring her own eye down. She look at you once in a while and bring her own eye down, which basically means like she's feeling you. But if a girl is looking at you eye, eyeball to eyeball, just know that girl is, is, in, her, is in her masculine states. She just go your way. But if she looks at you, brings her eye down, looks at you, brings her eye down, blushes, touches her own hair, like those are signs that she's actually into you. And now, when talking with a woman, when flirting with women, it's always better to have that calm, sleepy voice. It has been, you know, from the studies that have been made, 
women actually feel more attracted to men who have deeper, calmer, and sleepy voice. You know, Thomas Shelby voice. That's basically it. Tommy's voice in Peaky Blinders. Go and watch that movie. If you watch that movie, if you, if you have watched that movie before, just that voice, Tommy's voice, that's basically what, exactly what women love. And if you are flirting with women, even if you don't have this kind of voice, just bring your voice down a bit, be calm. It, it, it basically shows that this guy is confident, he's comfortable in his skin, and women love that. When flirting with women, one thing, one thing which you must avoid is talking too much. I see many guys when they are t- trying to get to know a girl for the first time, or you're meeting a girl for the first time, or you are flirting with her, you keep talking. You keep talking. Some guys just have big mouths. You keep talking, talking and talking. How we, how do you think that the girl will not like you when you've been around talking, talking, talking? And women hate talkatives. See, your goal, your aim, why flirting with women is to make them feel comfortable around you. Ask them questions, which will force them to open up to you. Your job when flirting is not to be the one talking. Your job is to make a woman feel comfortable with you and get her to talk. Then you compliment her, then you make her blush, all those things. But the most important thing is that you get her to talk. You make her feel comfortable with you and you get her to talk. Which basically shows that, okay, she's interested in you. Because for a girl to be comfortable talking with you, that means she's interested, interested in you too. Now, why flirting with a girl? Don't be too aggressive. You can't be flirting with a girl and you're dragging her hand. You are touching her anyhow. You are doing this. You are, ah, be a gentleman. Be jovial. Be calm. Be cool. Be a gentleman. When flirting with women, you have to be, you just have to keep everything playful, jovial, gentle, and cool. That's the secret to flirting with women. It, 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 it shouldn't be aggressive. Why flirting with women in person? You have to observe her, look at her, find out features on her body, mostly on her body, because that's like the first thing you are seeing. And most women are insecure about something or the other about their body. So you have to focus on her body and compliment her. See, is women are easily deceived by what they hear. So you have to use it to advantage. Find out something about her which most men don't compliment and compliment it. It will make her feel special that this guy noticed this thing about me that most men don't notice about me. And he complimented it. Wow. She'll be intrigued and, and I'm probably interested in you now because you noticed something about her. For some, for some people, Okay, for me, I'll confess. For me, what I usually use is women's eye because I've, I noticed that men don't compliment women's eye. They always, you are beautiful, you are hot, you are sexy, you are gorgeous, all those things which women hear every day. So if you compliment a woman with those things, she be like, okay, okay, okay. So I look at her eyes and be like, you've got beautiful eyes. She be like, wow. Maybe she will not say it, but from her body language, she's blushing, she's happy I told her those things. I look at her nails. When do you make this your nails? She'd be like, last two weeks, wow, they look good. She'd be like, wow, ah, this is the first time a guy is telling me that my nails look good. Because most, most men don't compliment these things. So the next thing you have to do while flirting with women is tease them. You have to playfully tease them. Now, teasing women basically means playfully trying to annoy them. For example, you can meet a girl and you'll be like, your name doesn't sound sexy. I'll change it for you. I'll give you another nickname. I'll give you a pet name. From there, you give her a pet name, which only you call her. Women actually find that sexy and, you know, sweet. Or let's say that you met a short girl. You'd be like, <laughs> ah, I'll put, inside a, I'll put you inside a bag. I'll, I'll put you inside a bag. Now, it all depends on how well two of you have communicated prior to that because there are some girls you tease such teasing and they'll get annoyed now one thing you have to do before you start teasing a girl is make sure that you have made her feel comfortable with you you've made her blush multiple times you've made her smile multiple times you've basically made her feel comfortable with you to the point whereby she see all those teasing as you just being playful not like you are trying to insult her or all those things now when flirting with women you must try your best to break the body barrier the body barrier now there are some women who you are flirting without any romantic intentions you just because there are sometimes i will meet women in offices like not like offices 
but like in places whereby I want to do something. I'll just be like, I'll just, I'll basically start, you know, conversing with them. From there, I'll start talking with them, complimenting some things about them, and they'll start blushing and all those things. That's like a different type of flirting. But when you're flirting with a romantic intent, you're basically flirting with a girl that you find attractive. Now, we have to, you have to break the touch barrier. Because one of the easiest ways to escalate flirting is by breaking the touch barrier. Let's say that you've made her comfortable with you, you've teased her, you've complimented her, you've made her bro blush, you've made her smile, you've made her laugh. Now the next thing you should do is to start touching her, not like in a very weird way. Just be like, ah, this your. Just do it in a very playful way. You, you have to take her arms, her hands or her palms, and compare it with your own, something like that, and be like, babe, this your hand is very, very small. It's very, very small. You've broken the touch barrier by doing this. Then from there, you can start, you know, grabbing her body or teasing her, telling her you are small, I can carry you, all those things. And from there, you could even go to the point of grabbing her neck. But it all depends on how well two or few have, you know, on how well you've made her feel comfortable with you. And, and you know, on basically how much you've taken the flirting so far. Because flirting comes in stage. First of all, you have to make her feel comfortable with you. You make her smile, you make her blush, you compliment her. All those things then before you can graduate to the point of breaking the touch barrier now the next thing you have to do while flipping is to ask her playful questions P questions that come in, for in form of compliments and questions you be like your eyes look so good how did you get these eyes like it's playful it, but it's also complimentary your eyes look so beautiful how did you get these eyes you be like uh -uh. Which kind of question would be that one? But like in her mind, like she, she, she loves the question and she'd be like, is my mother or is, I got it from my mom? All those things. Like you just have to keep things fun, you have to keep things jovial, just try to make her feel good, just give her a, a, a fun time and she'll like you. Now, there are no two ways to flatten. You basically have to keep practicing and keep getting better at flatten. And with time, you become comfortable doing it. I know that when you start flirting with women, it, it will be hard. And if you're not the confident type, you might even struggle to even try to start up flirtatious conversations with women because you'd be afraid. But one thing I always tell you guys is just basically keep doing it you become, until you become comfortable doing it. You know, I've been doing all these things I've been doing with women for, for many years. So that's why I feel comfortable, you know, doing it these days. I don't have to, you know, prep myself count one to three before I walk up to a woman and start flirting with her, all those things. Those things we are in the early years, in the early days. But now I just do it spontaneously. So you have to keep practicing and getting better. So that's basically it on today's video. Like this video if you want to keep seeing more interesting videos like this and subscribe to the channel. Like this video, it helps YouTube show the video more to people, to more people and also helps the algorithm to, you know, basically increase my views. So uh subscribe to the channel i see you in the next video